I've been thinking how to make sweet risotto balls for a while now, and on my first, second, third attempt, I nailed it. They're delicious, they're crunchy on the outside and soft and creamy on the inside. And if you use gluten-free breadcrumbs, then they're entirely gluten-free. <laughs> the possibilities are huge. You can roll them in cinnamon sugar or plain sugar. You can serve them with jam and cream or jam and ice cream or any sweet sauce of your liking. My favorite way is to roll them in white sugar and then serve them with vanilla and boysenberry ice cream. They're absolutely delicious and they're even delicious cold and you know sometimes you gotta have balls my name's Lee welcome to this video you'll need one scant cup of arborio rice wash it well until the water runs clear and then place it in a heavy baked pan add four cups of milk and a good pinch of salt and over a medium low heat bring it very slowly to the boil, stirring often so the rice doesn't catch on the bottom of the pan. Once it has come to the boil, reduce the heat to low to maintain a steady but gentle simmer and continue to cook the rice slowly. This should take a good 30 minutes start to finish. It's important to cook the rice really slowly until it's super thick and creamy and the liquid has been absorbed. You'll need to stir it often, especially towards the end of the cook time. And after all the liquid has been fully absorbed, the rice should be soft and fully cooked. If you find the rice is still not soft, add a little more milk and cook longer. But I haven't found this necessary using the above measurements. Then add one teaspoon of vanilla essence and a scant half a cup of white sugar. Stir it in well and cook for just a further couple of minutes. Transfer the mixture to a dish and allow to cool to at least room temperature. And when the mixture is cooled, I set up the bread in station, whisk in a couple of eggs into a bowl and fill in another with breadcrumbs. I'm using gluten-free crispy rice crumbs, but I think panko crumbs would be so good. You can make the risotto balls any size you like. I opted for bigger sized balls, mainly because I'm a bit impatient rolling them small, but I also find that the larger balls have a good crust to filling ratio. I like to roll them all into balls first, then coat them thoroughly with the egg, and lastly, generously coating them with breadcrumbs. Any leftover breadcrumbs I just sprinkle over the top. At this point, you could start frying them or you can pop them into your refrigerator and let them chill and then fry them as you please. They're also firmer to fry if they've been refrigerated for a couple of hours. I had some last four days in the fridge before frying the final few. When you're ready, heat a neutral flavoured oil like sunflower or vegetable oil in a small saucepan, at least a good inch, or alternatively, you could use a deep fryer. And over a medium heat, bring the oil to temperature. I like to test it by just dropping a breadcrumb into the oil. If it sizzles, then it's ready. Working in batches, fry the balls over a medium lowish heat, maintaining the sizzle until they are golden brown on the outside and gently pushing them and turning them over from time to time. This takes me about 10 minutes per batch. Have ready a bowl of sugar and then transfer them directly from the oil into the sugar and coat generously. I tried them with cinnamon sugar and they were yum, but my favorite is just plain sugar. Next time I'm gonna put a dob of jam in the middle when I'm rolling them. They are super delicious with a sweet jam sauce or custard cream or ice cream. But my favorite is with boysenberry and vanilla ice cream. I love these so much and they're such a treat. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Hopefully I'll see you again soon.